All right, hello everyone. So this is Wednesday, 20th of October. So we're back uh, on track because I got my laptop back yesterday. Thank goodness for that. Uh, first of all, straight off the bat, today's hours. Um, first of all, we've got an hour at 9.30 coming up. We, we missed the 6.51 because it's 10 past seven here at the moment, as you can see. But still, if we're hanging around at the tops here today, I think there's an opportunity to sell. Now, remember last week I did say, Look out for the 19th. First of all, today, 20th, is a full moon. So the 20th and the 21st uh, is important. These two days are important simply because we've got things happening in the sky and one of them already happened. So what we're looking out for now, from now on, are going to be turning points, right? And the 21st, it's tomorrow, right? Thursday is also a good um, good opportunity for turnarounds but you should really be selling whenever you see levels like this okay and this is nasdaq now if you're using the pst strategy um you're on the you're on the right track first of all that's your blue line red dotted line that's your first sell spot there and your first support is going to be that nine uh, that 63.49 which is going to be 15,351 now We've got a good breakout here and we've come to that target there. So this is going to be a dodgy place, first of all. I did say for NASDAQ and for other indices as well, look out for a double top because this zone is now probably going to be starting to turn around. And if this becomes a double top, we might just see this break down. So this nice pullback here is a good sign. Look out for a double top or slightly higher with divergence and try to get it done on your PSD. Now, if it doesn't match your PSD, there'll be some other in the index like DAX or Dow Jones or SP500, whatever that will, or Aussie 200, for example, right? So look out for that. But today, this is your sell level today. Now, 651 was, um, was a turning point. 9.28 is also going to be one. This morning's ones are not so major at all. They're not major ones. Um, but what you might want to look out for today, um, especially um, if you're trading um, silver, gold, look out for 5.56 p.m. today. Um, and yeah, look out for those hours for turning points today. Um, also 7.38 PM. All right. Um, in addition to these two, which are GMT plus three in my time, like I said, keep an eye out for 928, which is 930 um, bar, because changing from you know, changes are starting to come around that nine o'clock, 10 o'clock zone. All right. So if the market does push down a little bit, uh, be mindful, we'll probably push up a little bit more. This is a good impulse wave. So a pullback to go higher. To do that double top is on the cards all right so although we've got a channel here as you can see <clears throat> it's a pretty good channel as well no problem to just draw that um, but this is going to be an intraday move okay so intraday um, starting to shape up and like i said if it does pop its head up there uh, it's going to be a good level to be selling off so those are the hours for today i'd also be careful for tomorrow which is thursday when it comes to trading according to astrology so keep these hours in mind but tomorrow is going to be like i think you know the main turning levels are going to be happening so we're going to get some uh, action today um, and we'll get some confirmation later on in the week Okay, so this week is going to be important for us. And we've got targets up there. So keep it in mind and wait for those PST levels. Let's take a look at the OS 200. With the OS 200, as you can see here as well. Just bear with me. nice move up okay so this is no surprise either because we're breaking up was the this is where we're coming across so we're coming up to those cell zones either here slightly higher is also possible this month is october these blue dotted lines 
are a place where you might want to start selling. Okay, 67 and 66. So that's 7,435.7505 is going to be around here somewhere. Okay, so it's still got a bit of room to pop its head up. When it gets there, it's good to short. I think this zone is also good to short. I'd rather do it on a PST and a price when they match. Spotting a turnaround isn't always easy, but as you can see, when the market you know, pops its head up, you know, don't just look at it. Um, 7,505 there, okay, at 62. So 7505, let's say there, okay. So we still got a bit of room to come up. Um, yeah, so don't rush into it, Just keep your calm, um, let the market come to you and that zone is a hot zone. Uh, and if it does get there, as you can see here, what we can do is this. Is that. All right. So keep an eye out for those hours. And like I said, keep an eye out for tomorrow as well. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now, this is the euro I said we might pop our heads up a little bit, so be mindful for these zones. This will be your sell zones here. <clears throat> it's natural for the market to come up to that 1700 level. Um, 1680, 1700 is your kill zone. All right, so let the market come up to you, and then you know, selling off from here is a good idea. Okay. Um, that's that. Also, guys, look out for if you're trading crypto, also be mindful for crypto today at the 9.30 and the 2.58 p.m. 14.58 bars as well. Okay. Um, no, no major, major action, but we might just have a bit of a, you know, move there. Um, I haven't checked the whole week yet, simply because, let's take a look at Bitcoin, I haven't checked the whole week astrologically, because <clears throat> I just got the computer yesterday and didn't have that much time in my hands to do so. However, though, we'll get in there. Now, as you can see, Bitcoin moving to that target up there, so it's got room to go up, like I said, and I did say, don't you be buying around here okay it's not a good idea to be buying there so the market is on its way up still going there so there you go so this could be a resistance zone where we could pull back a little bit i did say be careful for the 19th we're going to see major levels and looks like that is a major level actually that major level for um bitcoin and cryptocurrencies well most of bitcoin because bitcoin's got a certain planet that controls it and you know it was just um pretty much telling us this is going to be a move so the 19th as you can see made that top there and it's still hanging around here so what to do with this 20th also to, um, on thursday like i said be mindful for bitcoin as well no buying around here the trends obviously you know up so pullbacks are in order a bit of a sell position when i think may definitely occur here a bit of a pullback and sell-off uh, may definitely happen so be mindful on that if you're long just make sure you're covering your trades okay it might pop slightly higher and then sell down but this is a place where they sold off before so market coming down from these levels to at least this red line here is an option this could also be done next week if the market does pop its head down here next week then this will be your first buy zone as well to carry on that up move if it breaks above then use the blue line 
for the retracement to go long because it's got room to go up. It's just a matter of breaking it. But I think we're going to need a pullback before we break up there. And these higher uh, lows should give us a heads up that this is moving up. Okay. Let's take a look at gold, silver, SP500. And hopefully our software is also going to be coming out at the end of the month on the 31st of October. So we'll be able to check out everything really um, nicely. I'm already using it, as you already know. So some special events to look out for today, um, like I did say, but also tomorrow. Um, we need to take a look at the market tomorrow on the 21st um, of the month. There we go we do that let's see if we're open okay here we go this is gold now gold as you can see we're here now we're in a new moon today a full moon today sorry we got full moon happening today what does that tell you possibly we're going to have a change in the situation and gold might be in a move to go up now what you got to look out for like i said for gold is look out for um yeah look out for uh those hours i did say so 9 28 12 o'clock noon okay 9 28 also covers 10 past 10 so during that time um you know we should be looking for things for turnarounds but these are for intraday stuff right don't go heavy all right, so what we want to do is pull back and then we want to go long on those pullbacks because I think we pretty much did what we need to do from here. All right, so in terms of technically speaking, um, these levels, good to buy as the market is buying, as you can see. On the weekly, we haven't done anything yet, but any breakout, this is looking good for a breakout. Uh, and then we should be heading back there, as you can see. All right, so looking for long positions on gold is definitely an option i reckon um and also like i said the 21st i'll make a video on that tomorrow morning as well is something you want to be looking out for a bit of a pullback would be awesome for gold and that will probably happen in the u.s session like i said um like i said at yes yeah, 6 p.m 7 p.m. bars. Okay, that would be good if the market did a bit of a pullback there during those hours. Then we've got something really nice to talk about with gold. As you can see, the market's making higher lows as well. So any pullback is going to give you an opportunity on your PST lines. Same thing for silver. Now, remember yesterday I said for silver, the day before yesterday, actually on Monday, I said if it pops its head back to the pivot, here, yeah, weekly pivot, you should go long. All right, this was just too obvious. Um, and it was just, there you go, looking at us, you know, straight in the eye. Um, because we already had a breakdown. So I said, any pullback is good to buy. And I did give some levels there. And I definitely do recall saying the weekly pivot is good to go long. And I didn't check the astrology because I didn't have time to do so on Monday because I had to give the laptop back because it was still humming. Um, but there you go, that's New York there. Um, and we can definitely check what happened there. But it's, you know, it's obvious this is astrological as well. But technically coming down here for a long was also on the PST indicator. It was just staring at us if you watched the video from Monday. So what to do with silver? Um, look, we're going, as you can see, right? So these levels are good to go long. I was talking about going long all around here. Said so these are good levels to be going long and the market just kept going up. So we've got room to go up. We should follow that through. Don't you be buying on a resistance. Let the market come back to you. Next week, we might have a retracement for a good buy. Because if we do so, make good use of it and just go with it. SP500. Now, SP500, I did say look out for a double top here because this is looking for a good sell position now uh, it's going to look like a good sell to me it's coming up to our pst level so this is looking much better than nasdaq as you can see right 
So we're coming to that PST level. We're coming to that goodbye kiss level. This zone on a PST, you can do Fibonacci, which is great. Actually, I've got GAN levels because I do um, astrology. Um, you know, it's, they're pretty close with Fibonacci. I like Fibonacci as well. No dramas there, but I use GAN techniques. So I've got GAN um, ratios here. So when a market pulls its head up just a little bit more, let it come up to you, double top. It's going to be a big divergence there. And this is going to be a good level to be shorting as well. All right. So time it well as well. Like I said, look out for Thursday too, because Thursday is going to be turnaround session, in my opinion, as well um, this week. All right. So th this is like a good week where we're going to be you know, determining the tops to you know, get in. Uh, for turnarounds, like I said, I did warn you for the uh, third week of October. So there you go in the previous videos. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, though, you can always drop me a line, right? So don't be shy. Just drop me a line. So there are a few new people, a few new guys on board. And if you have any queries, uh, if something's not understood, just drop me a line because, you know, we're always good to um, answer your queries. In fact, you know, um, explain what's going on as well according to our strategy. All the best. Have a good day.